going straight into the uh, bands and picks here. And we have the first uh, first ban by Mouseports. They ban Tassadar. Then we have a ban on Stitches by My Insanity. And first picks are Tychus, then Arthas and Uther, and Chiril and Anoop are the first picks for, my, uh, for Mouseports. Yeah, pretty solid. Um, we saw those comps earlier today as well. Um, I'm a little bit surprised by Arthur's Uther because they don't synergize uh, directly. So you need some heroes uh, in between those two to make a good combo. But it's still, uh, they are just super good heroes and why shouldn't you pick them? Um, Yeah, of course. Okay, uh, we have Illidan and Nova now by my insanity. That reminds me of um, PPP actually. They went for Illidan and Nova as well. Um, so, kind of a similarity. But I think they should be fine. Uh, since they banned Stitches, Nova won't have too big problems. Okay, yeah, uh, you, the, jo uh, the game is over, so you can uh, enter Battle.net again, and the lobby is up as well, so everything perfect. <laughs> yeah, he's. Yeah, it seems like the meta changed a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, it can change from day to day. Uh, yeah, we're so. Uh, yeah, um, talking about the Abatha, uh, we already saw the double Anubarak. So that might be a choice for them. Uh, but since they have Tychus, I highly doubt that they go for the clone on uh, Anubrak. They'll go for the double Odin normally, since they have um, Bloodlust as well. That might be exactly what they go for. Oh, sorry. Sorry about these streaming problems. Um, so we'll, we'll learn that next time we're not going to go uh, into well, observe a game if the next one starts. But we didn't want to have any downtime for you guys, sorry about that. And final pick, Zagara for my insanity. Okay. Yeah. Um, quite interesting. But um, they have some kind of combos with uh, Precision Strike and more. Mm -hmm. and um, Divine Storm, actually. So, if they hit the Maw correctly, they have a big chance of winning the team fight. But on the other hand, they are quite squishy as well. So they have to be really careful, especially when Bloodlust is up and two Odins are right in front of the face. Okay, let's see. Everyone ready? Not quite. Just checking the lobby. By the way, um, this match is pretty important for Mousebots. Um, if they win, I think it's quite safe that they will play. Um, yeah, I think they advance the to the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think they should advance to the playoffs if they take this. But it's a really, really tough fight. My insanity, first place, um, won every single game. Um, so um, it's all good. Sorry. Oh, um, you're muted. Yeah, I noticed. Um, oh, the problems are real. Okay, but we are now in the map. Uh, Cursed Hollow. 
but we have such a good audience. It's like um, it's like talking back in time. If you talk to the chat and there's a uh, stream delay in <laughs> three minutes. Um, oh wait, let's get started. Cursed Hall is the first map. Um, Mouse boards uh, definitely need the underdog in this matchup, and um, let's see if, if they can show us a strong fight here. I really hope so. We already saw this kind of um, plays happening uh, from PPP against Prism, uh, so it might be possible actually that we see uh, Mouse boards beating my insanity, but it's of course highly doubted. Yeah. All right, let's get started here. Uh, just gonna save this. All right, there we go. And on the left side, here on uh, Cursed Hollow, we have Team Mouse Boards in blue with Anubarak, Turiel, Abathur, Rhaegar in the top lane, and bottom lane is taken by Tychus. Their opponents currently number one on the Heroes Premier League ladder. We have my insanity in the red with Zagara and Nova and someone that's wiggling around way too much for me to notice uh, Arthas and, and in the bottom lane we have Uther and Illidan of course you're right uh, this, uh, he, he, was, he was wiggling around with, yeah. with his uh, weird skin you yeah. don't uh, recognize him immediately I think that's the, the brother's skin or something yeah. alright uh, let's get started with the game um, Looks like we have Cookie just uh, soloing the middle lane. Uh, Turi and Anoop are roaming, taking the, uh, the watchtower, making sure everything's fine. Uh, Aragi taking top lane against uh, against Rhaegar. Oh, but he's gonna get ganked quite soon, but uh, since he has his creep spread it already, it sh wouldn't shown, shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, I think um, Aragi is gonna play it safe. He went a little bit out of position uh, just to get those creep tumors down, but that's a good idea because that gives uh, gives them the map vision to uh, pull off these ganks, that, which might be coming into. Oh wow! Amazing stun by Starzerk and Fabius just on top of everyone. Oh, they try to get the kill on, uh, but uh, he gets away. Yeah, uh, good for them to disengage there. Yeah, there with a no third player, right. they might have been. Um, well, they might have made it happen, but like that, uh, not really safe to do so. Yeah, you always have to keep in mind in the early game, if you have an Abathur, that you're going to be a little bit uh, weaker than normally. Yep, uh, later on that really, um, well, it kind of evens out though, especially yeah. if the Abathur is, is doing a good job just uh, solo pushing the lanes. Uh, easy camps being taken on both sides. Uh, Fabian Stazerk here, Turiel and Anoop. Just easily, easily taken out the easy camp. Uh, same goes for their opponents here, my insanity. Yeah, Illidan is just so good at taking camps, especially if you have someone to tank with him. But uh, maybe. Okay, they're gonna get, uh, kill the creep tumor over there, so they might be able to actually uh, do something at the hard camp. And But now Illidan uh, notices that he has been scouted by the mine of Abatha. Yeah, Aragi uh, still uh, still dealing here with Rhaegar. I think he's having a little bit more trouble than I anticipated against uh, against Zagara. Yeah, but with but, uh, the easy camp, he, she sh uh, he should be kind of all right. Uh, Arthas trying to scout out the hard camp. No one's there, of course. Um, everyone's still roaming here, so um, yeah, Mouseport's losing a little bit a little bit of experience there. But uh, they're catching up pretty soon, so half half a level of experience missed. Mm, kind of bad timing now for Mousebots to go for the hard camp because they won't be able to get the tribute now if no miracle happens and Rega destroys four people at the same time. <laughs> well, but then again, we we talked about this before. The first tribute is not as crucial, and um, going for the hard camp right now, I think um, a good alternative. But then again, I think. Oh, jeez! Wow, my insanity already going for the boss. Wow, uh, that's really early on here. Only three minutes in the game, and they're already going for the boss. And they do have the time to do this. So I feel like that counter player is, is really strong here. Hard camp versus boss. Um, yeah, <laughs> I would trade this every day. Yeah, really, uh, truly, well spoken. Okay. Uh, 
Zagara knows what's up. She has the creep tumors in position. Oh, Anoop is moving in. Uh, she will get away now. Oh, they didn't notice it uh, fast enough. Anoop would have been able to deep tunnel in there, but. Yeah, but then again, they were only two players versus uh, yeah. four. Uh, not really the fight you want to take. Well, now they have to play defensively. Um, I think with Rhaegar, Tyrael, and Anoop, they should have no problem dealing with the boss. But this, well, this is going to cost them the tribute here in the middle. Because my sanity is again already in an amazing position to take this tribute. Yeah. It's like the first tribute is okay if you lose it, but if you lose the second tribute, you're yeah. pretty much in danger. And the, losing the second tribute also forces fights for, for the next one. So, um, yeah, this was just way, way of an easy grab for, for my insanity. Yeah, and they might even go for the opposing golem now. Wow. But, oh, wow. Yeah, they're gonna get scouted now by Abathur normally. But I think. Maybe most no. is too slow. They weren't scouted, I think. Yeah, I, but GC uh, Zagaro, no, Zagaro's still holding, holding middle. So they know they should know that something's up. Oh, yeah. Well, they're only only using three heroes to take down the boss, so it, it's gonna take a little bit longer. But went unnoticed, entirely unnoticed. So really strong pickup here from my insanity, grabbing, grabbing the enemy boss, and uh, this is gonna spell doom for this bottom four. Yeah, and they probably gonna get level 10 out of this, and then they'll be able to push the fort even further. So, really nice uh, strategic. Oh, Anubis decisions. waiting for the engage. Ah, oh, nice deep tunnel, nice disengage there. But there's still only three against five. They're in big, big trouble. Starzak tries to get away. Ah, uh, they're just missing one stun to get him, and I Holy think shit. they might get it. Yes, they will. Nice job here. Oh, Lowell died. So no heal here from Ace of Spades. Yeah, a little, little bit is out of position. He, he tried, he wanted to get that kill on a noob. And, well, it was worth it in the end, but maybe a little bit overextended in the process. Yeah, but they are alright. They got the fort now and might even, yeah, they will get the next oh, tribute as well. they get the final tribute as well. And the boss is still alive. Well, oh, it's gonna fall here any second though. Oh, Karai not watching out. Already in the stun. Oh, jeez! Oh, that, that was actually pretty close. He might have... He might have died right then and there, just because he got hit by the boss stun. Yeah, and it looks like with the one level advantage, um, the mouse bots can't really do anything against it. No, they have to play really defensive here in the middle. Um, they, they should save this fort. Um, if they play it out right, they, they should save this fort. Um, curse is still up for about 30, 30 more seconds. It's, it's gonna be a tough fight, and I don't know why uh, Rega is moving out of position here. They probably don't want to miss any any top experience either. And um, yeah, Abathur is trying to uh, take control of this fort to save it. Oh, nice job! Karayan uh, is there in time, but I don't think he has enough potential to stop this engagement. And oh, he might be in trouble. Uther is moving in, Miss misses his stun though. So Karayan gets away. Top fort is gonna fall. They managed to hold on to the middle fort though. Yeah, and no push now from my insanity. They are not gathered up. They need Zagara, but otherwise, I'm sure they would have gone for the uh, for the fort actually. But now they can just easily go for the camps. Uh -huh. If they want to, they might be fighting as well. Oh geez, we might have the next setup here. My insanity already moving in position, uh, getting the first engage there on Fabio on the material. But a noob is the next one to fall. Ace of Spades using his ultimate there, and oh, already forcing the Odin here out of Cookie. And uh, will he get away? Oh, Arthas moves in really deep here in the gate, but it's already gone, so he can uh, he can just dish out the damage and be safe. Cookie won't get away. There's the fight. Oh, nice, nice timing on the Odin. Okay. <laughs> what the heck happened what? there? I think the animation thing. showed, but Has it didn't work. Fort. The animation wow. showed, and then he poured it. I, I have no idea. Uh, no, he just died. But he just reappeared. Maybe it was the. Um, it Abathur. was Abathur. It was oh, okay. Abathur that works. Ah, so maybe um, the clone timed out, because otherwise something along those lines. Imagine, yeah. Well. Okay. Wow, three forts down. This is gonna be a tough fight for Mousebots to turn this around. Um, 
They, they do get a little bit stronger now uh, with Abathur uh, and his heroic, of course. But uh, they're still in for a really tough fight and oh, boss, uh, hard camp yeah. being taken here. And uh, the boss is up for my insanity. As well. Yeah, they're gonna grab the boss as well. Uh, but Mouse Sports knows what's up. Maybe yeah. they can go to engage. He can get a good and engage uh, to get the start. Oh, there's again the stun on Tyrael. Try to focus him out, but he gets away. A noob tries to dive in there, and another ooh, nice stun there. Maybe catching Aragi. Oh, but there's the maw, and Karayan falls. Rega goes down. Tyrael goes down, and oh, can he get someone else? No. Level yeah. level disadvantage. Uh, just hits him too hard. Mouse bots really shouldn't fight uh, without the Odin and another third clone. Yep. I think uh, they just have no chance. Even, yeah, even with a good position, it's almost impossible. They now are two levels behind. And, the and next my insanity again, getting so lucky with these tribute spawns. Again on their side, they're already in position. Um, this is going to be a no-brainer. They're going to pick this up uh, without any real trouble. Top lane, well, it's. Almost gone, just having one one single tower. Oh, I don't know why they're even uh, using two players to clear this. But, oh, uh, looks like Nova might be out of position here, but no one spots her. Yeah. She's Nuke just... Caesar now, but, oh, not quite. Oh, nice stun there. But no one there to actually engage whole material. With the help of Aberfer gets away, but they need to stop, they need to stop the boss. They're disengaged here by Starzerg. We're using the deep tunnel to get behind save lines. And now everyone's still moving back in. Uh, we have ooh, we have the mirror here ooh. on Odin. So maybe uh, uh, on Tychus, maybe double Odin coming in. Wow, the survive on Lowell was so clutch. He really, literally has like only 20 HP left. Uh, first Odin is coming in. I don't think that was a nice decision. Though. Whoa, maybe. Arthas is taking a yeah. lot of damage here, but he's healed back up. And there comes the hunt. Anubar Rock falls. And oh, Koki might actually fall as well. Illidan goes down though. And there's the Maw on the left side, catching Kurayan and Kid Kadesh. And the second Odin will also fall here. Wow, what an engagement for my insanity. Yeah, perfect Maw once again. Um, and maybe Ace of Spades is a, in a, a little bit of trouble here, but no. Okay, no, Arthas uh, helps him. Everyone, everyone else is still waiting. Uh, they were just sitting back a little bit here. And I'm a little bit surprised why we didn't see any ultimate evolution from Abathur since he had no cooldown. Didn't he use? Uh, then we see the double Odin. At least he used the. Um, well, he he did the mirror on on Tigers. Okay. So ah okay. Uh, I see. Uh, it that just was the first Tigers wrong. that went down. Was yeah. was the mirror? Wrong. Okay. So on the board, this place uh, falls because if you look at it now, it has no cooldown. Yeah, they're gonna, they they might get this boss, everyone's back up, but I think that my insanity knows what's up. They're already moving in position. Zagara saw everyone here, and they're just waiting there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we have to disengage by mouse sports. Maybe they catch them off guard. Maybe. But if they lose this boss, this would be... Oh, that would be a real tragedy. They need a good engage, though, to take this fight. Nice done. Uh, look, oh, brilliant stun and too late ancestral healing here on the yeah. Nubarak and Fabio. Yeah, they will get Kidda. Yeah. And Karain might be in trouble as well. Oh, he moves out of the, the heroic. Good job there. And Illidan just non, non stop bashing on everyone. And he does get Rega in the end. Wow. I, Illidan can do so much damage. If you don't kill him, like at the beginning of the fight, he just causes so much havoc. Yeah, and really good, uh, really good healings here by Vega. He kept him alive for so long. He was, uh, he was almost going down three or four times there, and always kept him alive. And now they can just easily push through this middle lane. No worries about that. Yeah, and we have 12 kills now for my insanity against three. And since they're two levels ahead as well, um, with the curse they'll be able to take hard camp or a boss if they are far fast, but maybe they're just gonna go for another engage. No, I think they're gonna grab the boss nevertheless. I mean, uh, it's just a no-brainer grabbing, grabbing that boss. 
Um, everyone's back up for, for mouse boards, so they, they could go for an engage, but they're three levels behind. Now they're on level 16. That's a big difference. Grabbing some of these uh, some of these talents could really help out. There's the owner form, there's the deep dive, and wow, what a heroic here coming in. And he gets an Uber Rock, even though even though he was healed by Ab uh, supported by Abathur, and now everything just falls apart. Odin dies, Tychus goes down, and only Abatha and Rhaegar are still left alive. Yeah, it looks like this will be game. Um, yeah, I think they will push through now. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think the Tyrell and Anoop uh, move in on the platform there was kind of what killed them because they were sp spread up after this with the Maul sacrifice, uh, stunning the other people, yeah. and they weren't able to deal any damage. And there's the, there's the GG. Um, Wow, my insanity uh, just rolling over mouse boards. Uh, I think it was a well, somewhat even game up until, well, the, the early game was pretty even and then mid-game started and everything just fell apart. Uh, Ace of Spades on the Ufer, um, just really good timings on the stuns. And then, of course, Illidan, he knows when to disengage. I mean, he sacrificed himself, but always getting two heroes uh, in that uh, in that engagement, so it was well worth it. Whew. All right. Um, let me see. Do we have no? Unfortunately, uh, didn't capture didn't capture these fights. But um, I think we should probably be going into the second draft without any real delay. Um, give me a second. I'll figure out uh, what the next map choices were. Mm, one sec, one sec, one sec. Um, Alright, so my insanity banned mines, mouse banned dragon, so the first map is cursed and the second map is Garden of Terror. Alright, so Garden of Terror is gonna be. Okay. Yeah, I, I think uh, Garden of Terror gets more and more popular lately. Um. I think since the release of Garden of Terror, um, when Blizzard initially um, announced the map and showed it, um, a lot of thi good things happened to it. Um, in the beginning, the Garden of Terror was really uh, weak and they buffed him a lot, so it's really worth now to get all those seats. Yeah, and you're also uh, being punished a little bit if you, uh, if you don't use them. Yeah. Alright, I got the invite to the next game, so it looks like we should be getting ready here with the draft uh, any second. Yeah. Okay, um, so... I'm just gonna look up what the last draft was, because uh, normally you go for... Um, yeah, similar... Um, picks and bans or just react to what the other team did? Well, last time Mouse Sports had the first ban and they banned Tassadar. Um, this time I think we will see maybe uh, Tassadar first picked by My Insanity. Either Tassadar or Uther. Uh, not, not too sure, but I've seen some really strong plays with their uh, Tassadar. Um, I think they're gonna stay on Illidan. Um, oh, yeah, might be. He was he was really strong last game. Yeah, and Mouse, if they uh, if uh, my insanity goes for Illidan again, Mouse really has to go for some uh, hero to counter him. I think uh, they need a little bit more stun. All right, uh, we're getting started here with the draft. And first ban is my insanity. Okay. So last game they banned stitches, um, probably to go for Zagara and Nova. On haunted mines you can go for basically the same, but let's see. And first ban stitches, just like last game. So they might even go for some some Zagara or Nazebo or yeah, just basically any specialist combo. Uh, 
And ban for mouse boards. You think they're gonna ban Tassadar again? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, I, I think, think they might ban someone out of the last composition. I think they go for Uther ban because mm -hmm. Uther synergizes really well with Illidan because you need really uh, like instant heal for him. Or yeah, Tassadar could be a good ban as well because of the shield, but I even think Uther is a little bit better for Illidan. Mm -hmm. But let's see. So you agree that um, they're going to stay with Illidan? And Tassadar again from uh, Mouse Boards. Could be, yeah. Alright, first pick Uther? Yeah, probably. Uh, they go, uh, went for Uther Arthur's last game. I don't know why they should change it because normally if if you just won the game why uh, should you change anything uh, and if the maps are quite even and they are at least a little bit uh, you don't actually have to change anything the other team has to obviously change something or yeah, just go for different strategy strategic moves yeah, I mean the map changes a lot um, but I, I feel like well Cursed is one of the faster maps uh, then a Garden of Terror, a little bit of a slower map, so it does change the dynamics of the map, um, so you could stay with the same picks, but I, I don't think that a mouse box is going to go for that. Okay. And we have Tychus uh, as first pick for my Insanity. So, so just, no wait, they actually, uh, yeah, they stole that uh, first pick from mouse boards. <laughs> I... I don't know, I would like to see a Rhaegar first pick now out of Mouth Sports or Uther. But if they if they pick Rhaegar to kind of maybe destroy the, the Bloodlust possibility for my insanity or Uther just because he's a really strong pickup. Um, but by the way, uh, last game we didn't see any Bloodlust. Uh, Rhaegar went for Ancestral Healing. I'm not sure if this was 100% on purpose. Because normally, if you have two good Odins, you really want to go for Bloodlust. So I'm, I was kind of surprised by this one, actually. And Uther first pick, just as expected. Ow, and counterpicking the Arthas. Uh, wait. Oh, maybe? I think they're going to stay with him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's they can't really change it once yeah. they pick them, unless the other team agrees to, uh, to stay with them. <laughs> Okay, uh, Uther Arthas, uh, really good pickups for mouse boards. And okay. also a counter, uh, counter picking uh, two of my Insanity's heroes. Yeah, they went exactly reverse picking now. So, first team goes for Tychus and second for Arthas and Uther in both of the games. Only uh, Ben staying the same. Okay, um. <laughs> Mm, let's have a look at the last lineup for my insanity. Two heroes already gone. Built in is still a possibility. I don't know about these two, uh, to be honest. Um, that worked in the last setup. I doubt that they're going to play the same thing again. Uh, now that Uther and Arthas are gone. And Tyrael. So counterpick by them. And Illidan. <laughs> yeah, so a little bit uh, different now. We won't see the exact same um, compositions. But everything is still um, centered around Illidan, um, if they actually are going to pick him, but I think they will. <laughs> yeah, they can, definitely. But of course, you have to have a player who actually is able to play Illidan, because it's not that easy, to be honest. You have to be jumping around all the time and invading um, the big stuns. And you talked about the, the healing um, by Ufer in the last game, keeping Illidan alive. And I think they, they definitely rely on that. So um, it all comes down to their support now. Who, who are they going to pick as support for, uh, for Illidan? Um, Rhaegar or Brightwing come to mind? Yeah, Brightwing normally uh, is kind of not the best hero to heal Illidan because... Yeah, Illidan uh, prefers to have instant healing and Brightwing of course has some instant heal but uh, normally you yeah, heal more over time especially because of the trade 
Okay, so they finally picked their Illidan. Um, yeah, something was wrong there with the draft, but I think um, they didn't use that time. Well, I hope they didn't use that time to change anything around, so... Yeah. Just gave Mouse Sports a little bit more time to do their picks. But they knew that everything was going to be centered around Illidan. Uh... Yeah, they really need some damage now, Mouse Sports. And a good counter against Illidan... Hmm. It's not that easy, but uh, if you get in uh, some stun, especially with uh, the Uther, you can follow up, for example, with a Kerrigan. And mm -hmm. she would synergize some kind of world with the Arthas. So that might be a choice for them. Any other ranged assassins uh, could be Vala, but we didn't see Vala in ages now. Wow, yeah, and, Nova! And Nova and Reyna? Uh, well, I think Reyna, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do um, you think they, they'll just let the early game initiate slide and just go for... Well, they have Arthas, of course, but um, just go for Arthas and Uther. Um, so they are a little bit stronger in, in the mid-late game. And, yeah. well, have some potential... Um, um. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, if we view at the meta now, uh, Nova has become quite of a solid hero since the last patch, since the wipe. And Vala really went down in the ranking. So, uh, kind of interesting. Didn't expect this before. But Nova is just uh, dealing so much damage and she's really good against Illidan mm -hmm. when you... Uh, when you uh, hit your skill shots with what isn't actually that easy because Illidan is jumping around the whole yeah, time. Yeah, he's, he's so quick. Oh, wow, Abathur uh, for my insanity, okay. Uh, so it's, it's kind of uh, like a counterplay. Um, they just picked everything that Mouse Sports picked last round, somewhat at least. And um, well, you were talking about Nova. I think Nova, Nova's heroic. Um, with a precision strike and combination uh, with Uther's CC is also uh, really nice. Yeah, of course. And of course, as well with the root of um, Arthur's. The yeah, so we have almost, it, it, well, except for Illidan, we have uh, the complete steal of heroes by my insanity. <laughs> and final pickup is going to be Kerrigan, just like you said. And this, uh, I gotta say, I mean, this gives them a little bit of an early game advantage, I think. Yeah. If they play it out right. Because they have, they have Arthas and Kerrigan. Um, lo lots of ganking potential. Uh, with Nova in combination, of course. And then you have uh, Uther and Reyna to um, solo the lanes if, if need be. Yeah. And I think uh, Rega this time will definitely go for Bloodlust since they have uh, Illidan as well. So, yeah, no ancestral healing this game for sure. I'm gonna bet money on this one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about it. Um, everyone's ready, uh, so let's get started with the second game. Mouse Sports needs to step it up. If they win this, or well, if they win this, we're going to a third game. Uh, if they lose, um, they're going to be in for a tough fight to actually move on towards the playoffs. Because that would mean, I think, they'll drop down depending on how... Well, playing with Pain 1, so... Uh, well, they, they should probably drop down, so... I think um, they should give it their all in this next match. <laughs> Either way, I mean. Yeah, but normally I think uh, the best teams are really uh, the ones that are currently uh, on the top four. But let's see. Uh, as we see, uh, every game is, is special and you can't really decide on the skill. Uh, yeah, especially on Garden of Terror. If, if they have something planned, then uh, it, it's a nice map to just make weird plays happen. Exactly. All right, let's get started with the game. On the left side, Team Blue. This time around is My Insanity with Rhaegar, with Illidan, with Tyrael, 
Everyone's in the middle for now. Uh, Tychus and Abathur. And looks like they're gonna redistribute. Their opponents are Team Mouse Boards in the red here on Garden of Terror. Spawn on the right side. We have Abathur, Kerrigan, Nova, Raynor, and Uther. And there's the split. Abathur and Tyrael alongside Illidan in the middle. I think uh, Abathur is just going to solo that lane and everyone else is going to go roaming. Then we have uh, Rhaegar and Tychus taking the top and bottom respectively. Yeah. Looks like we're going to see an engage on Tyrael if he isn't careful. Oh no, they're moving top so Illidan might have a problem. Okay. Everybody being uh, way too defensive to have uh, anything oh, happen. Illidan but might run into trouble. Will we see the grasp? Nope, he gets away and Abathur helps him out as well. Oh, he might actually get into trouble right there though. Oh, nice grab. And Abathur heals him up, but Rhaegar comes in. He is getting ganked though. Yeah, really nicely done here by Mouse. Definitely not expecting here. Yeah, and good initial pickup. And they might actually get Tyrael if he moves uh, way down the middle lane. Yeah, they're just gonna take the easy camp now, play it safe, they already have one kill, uh, nothing more to do really. And I don't think they lost too much experience either um, in that middle lane. Um, I think it was, in the end, I think it was probably worth it since uh, Riga also left position in top. Yeah. Um, but other than that, nothing big really happening um, besides yeah. Illidan quickly taking the easy camp with the help of Abatha, no problem for him whatsoever. Yeah, Rhaegar is uh, against Raynor in the top lane. Um, Raynor, I give a little bit of an edge here to Raynor, uh, since he can uh, push the minions. But then again, uh, I don't think Rhaegar has any problems uh, just disengaging at least. Uh, and Fabio being uh, revealed there. Good minds here by Abatha scouting everything. Um, yeah. You see the first seats being grabbed now, Illidan is doing a good job right there. Looks like, yeah, um, Turil has some kinds of problem uh, against the camp here in the middle, but uh, Kirikadash doesn't do any damage. Oh, good engage here on the Illidan, he's quite low, but maybe he's gonna get away with the help. Oh, oh. that's gonna be so close, Ooh. looks like he will get away though. Abifer really saved his back there. Yeah, really nicely done there with the shield in the last second. Uh, I like the idea here, always getting on top of the hill and uh, kind of uh, seeking him out and always aiming for him. And uh, let's see, next engagement might happen down here. Ooh, Abifer completely out of position. There's the stun oh and they, will, uh, they have to get him, they have to get him. Where's the final blow? There it is. Kerrigan moves in and it's only Tychus down here in bot lane. He needs to watch out though. Fabio almost died in this engage. I'm quite surprised, but of course, a really big mistake here uh, by uh, Ar Araragi going in I so deep. I have no idea why why he actually went that far. Um, he could have just stayed behind the lines. It's always really dangerous to um, move outside of your, well the safety of your fort uh, if you're Abathur. And now we have a little bit of an experience uh, advantage for mouse bots. Oh, so tiny though. Uh, nothing will uh, to speak of yet. And still dashing out here in the top lane, just Rhaegar and uh, Raynor going at it. Ooh, Raynor actually taking a decent amount of damage. Uh, Rhaegar really dishing it out. Yeah, really nicely played by Ace of Spades. And we have the clear wines here for... Um, yeah, for my insanity, making sure that they won't get ganked at the boss. Very nicely done here, and getting all of the seeds, and with them, they might even be able to get the garden of uh, the plant. Ooh, it's a little <sighs> bit out of position, but uh, Uther and Arthas missed their engage there, and now they're trying to hunt for him, but he's long gone. Uh, he's moving down, ooh, down bottom, and Karayan might be in trouble now, but uh, he has the mobs to help him out, so I think they can go for that, and whoa, everyone's moving in, Starzak moving in, trying to look for the grass, but he gets away, but Arhaikas is taken out, nevertheless, will Illidan, yeah, Illidan gets away though. Well, I'm surprised how good Mousebots is actually playing this one, they getting good engages off, uh, very well done there. And yeah, getting some nice early wow. kills. Um, they, they're losing a little bit of experience in the meantime. But, oh, and Tyrael goes down in the middle, really overextending there. Yeah, but now we have the plant terror ready for my insanity since they took the boss uh, on top location as well. 
Yeah, Illidan and Rhaegar just uh, doing a good job grabbing that. And well, they had no real, real issues uh, going for that. No, no trouble, no counter aggression by Mouse Sports. But they will use that time to go for the hard camp. Uh, well, they have Uther in bottom, deal dealing some damage, pushing a little bit here on Tychus. And Nova is pushing middle, so it looks like they're preoccupied. And it did buy him some time to actually get that hard. Oh. And there's the engaged by Tyrael. It's too late though. Hard camp has been taken. And whoa! Dylan is moving in from top. Arp is taking a lot of damage. Kerrigan moves in. And now Karayan also in there. Yeah, we have all the heroes ready right now for Mouse. And they are winning this fight very decently, even if they play against. Uh, the guard, no, uh, the terror. Yeah, like Nova moving out of position there, though. I think they do have to retreat now, uh, or either either retreat or try to stop the the plant terror. Otherwise, they might run into trouble there because yeah, Mindsend is doing a really good job to force that fight on their terms. Yeah, but it looks like uh, the garden terror didn't really help them at all. Besides of this fight, not losing anybody, um, so they really want to get in some pushing now. Level 10 now for Mouse Boards. Let's see if they can make it count. Wow. I kind of like how they chase down the Garden Terror, because that way it's not doing too much damage and just wasting time moving around. Yeah. I mean, this also costs them some XP. They're um, losing out here on the bottom fort. And Tychus putting on some pressure. Well, he gets pushed back by the minions for now. Yeah. Um Regarding the ults, oh my god, and I lost my money. Ancestral healing from, from Rega there. Oh, oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> How much did you bet? <laughs> uh, Let's say 10 euros. Yeah, uh, sure. Gonna get the money. Oh, well, actually, the teams have to get it now. Oh wow, we might see an engage here. Ace of Spades is moving. Nice stun there. Uh, whoa, there's a movement by Illidan. He gets so low though. They might get the kill on him, but the remainder of the team moves in. Ace of Spades falls. Rhaegar's down. Nova falls though. On the other hand, Kerrigan falls as well. <laughs> it's gonna be a team wipe. Might be a team wipe. Shinobo, if he doesn't get out there in time. Uh, well, we have the Odin by Aragi. I think that's gonna save Shinobo. Wow, really, really good fighting here from Mousebots now. They are still one level ahead and have the hard camp pushing. I yeah, didn't nice expect that. Nice turnaround for them. Uh, it looked like they got a little bit uh, surprised there at the at the hard camp, but they managed to turn it around. Oh, I got scared a little bit uh, since Ilvin moved in, um, but they uh, they focused him down also quickly. Yeah. I think it all came down to focusing this time. Um, if uh, we could just take a little look at the talents. Ah, oh, no, fuck. Um, Karan getting ganked right there. Ah, oh, but he's able to disengage right there. Very well done. And it yeah, looks... Yeah, does get away, though. Um, <laughs> Tyrion so might not, damage. though. So much damage there. Yeah, right he, late he was surprised. He, he definitely got surprised right there. He wanted to help out Tychus, but um, he didn't move out of position quickly enough. Now it's everyone back to the lanes, grabbing a couple of seats, maybe even surprising a Rhaegar up top. Wow, Kirby is just clearing out. There's the ancestral healing. Can Starza grab him though? Oh, Ooh, geez, the that was so close. Oh, the Banshees could have killed him, but Cookie somehow well, he attacked switched something targets. else. Yeah. He switched targets, otherwise I think he would have gotten the final blow. Yeah. Banshee uh. is so good at the moment, they're dealing so much damage. Mm. Yep. So they're grabbing a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of uh, plants here, a lot of seeds. We have the next garden tarot, uh growing already for my insanity, and it looks like they're trying to go for an engage since uh, ultimate evolution has been used on Tychus. Yeah, but Uther's not in position yet uh, for mouse sports. Oh, they're focusing down on Ragi. Uh, will they get the kill? No, no. Odin form comes in, and there is the CC from Karayan. Doesn't help though. Kerrigan goes down. Tyrael falls on the other team. And oh, uh, Aragi will go down, but Fabio will he get away with the office. Nice heals coming in from Uther. He's still dishing out some damage here on Illidan, but oh. Koki gets picked up. Yeah. In the retreat. Good job. Really good team fight here for my insanity. Yeah, Illidan is just so good at. Um Chasing and Cookie just fell to that fact. Oh, Fabio completely out of position, but they might get out of space. No amazing heal here on him, but Fabio goes down. 
And uh, looks like they might be able to take out uh, this bottom fort without any real trouble. Yeah, this ancestral healings were so good. Almost, yeah, they hit every time. And every time it saved them at least one hero or even uh, the team fight. And Plant Terror is also putting on some pressure here in the middle. So losing two force at the same time. This is really a really big issue here for uh, mouse boards. So they need to stay back a little bit. Maybe, um, well, if, if the plant terror is not going to be supported, they can take it out. But other, other than that, uh, they should stay back, sit back a little bit and let them engage and, at the fort. Oh, and Starzok being a little bit out of position there. Ah, but he can heal up quickly now. Oh, nice grab there on Tychus, but he does get away. Ooh, grabbing everyone. Rhaegar, well, he's he's just so good uh, with the disengage. Yeah, with the rewind on uh, the Kerrigan, she's just able to grab someone two times, and that's quite strong. Uh, oh, they wanted to grab a kill on, on Tychus, uh, on Tyrael there, but he was already out of position. Looks like Mousebots is going to lose the mid fork right now. Oh, Tyrael being completely out of position, but ah, no way for him to escape. Yeah, he's gonna get killed, but he... Wow, he dished out so much damage. Wait! No way! With the Ancestral Hearing, Kerrigan is taken out, and now Nova falls, Karain falls. Wow, this just snowballed. May Lol be this? even able to get away? Yep, he will. Wow. He will. Wow. And on the other hand, Reyna felt against Shinobu right there. Maybe... Oh, uh, maybe Shinobu is gonna die, but no, Fabio won't have enough damage, I think. Well, Riga's taken out, but oh, I think Arthas is gonna pay for that. Nope, nice stun there, he will get away. Wow, that was clutch. Uh, but a good job there, uh, taking Riga out, um, just getting a little bit back in that engagement. They're one level down, but uh, two forts down, and that really blows. Uh, that's gonna give the edge to, to my insanity in, in this match so far. Wow, we have a triple blood for blood right now on the level 16 talents for my insanity. That's a lot of uh, instant damage they will be able to do. Even on Rega, normally you don't go for the, uh, on Rega for blood for blood, but in this situation I think he just tried to escape using blood for blood, but it didn't work out. Yeah, and in the end, I mean, uh, it's just gonna kill any disengage for the opposing team. Yeah, oh, they're gonna grab a lot of seeds. Plant Terror is growing for mouse boards. Maybe they can make something happen with Plant Terror. Um, opting not to go for the hard camp right there, instead just um, going for the easy one. Yeah, they try to play it very, very de uh, defensively. They are one level down and really don't want to have any fight until they have the Garden Terror ready. But with that, they will have to fight now. Maybe they're gonna get a good engage here at the top terror. Yeah, maybe they can lure him in um, for that uh, final tower. No, nope, Aragi's in position, he scouts everything out. And oh, he even gets the jump on Nova. Wow, she, she will probably get away. He might get a kill on Aragi, but mind you, he, he's only the... Oh, nice job taking out Illidan. Good CC there out of Ulfur. Nice heal. Uh, keep material alive though, and Uther is gonna fall. And with that, they don't have any, any possibility of healing back up here. And Raynor also falling, Kerrigan taken out. Nova's still somewhat safe here on the left side. Let's see if she can get away. Rhaegar's on the, on the hunt there, trying to get him. And, well, the only one still left alive uh, other than Nova is just the plant terror. And he's just moving around, wasting time, trying to stop these, uh, these easy camps from attacking. But um, yeah, not really the fight Mouseports was looking for. Yeah, they they had a good engagement on, in the beginning, but then not enough damage to actually kill the team. So it looks like oh, Kira oh. wasn't spotted. Yeah, but they might get the kill on Fabio. Um, everyone else is moving in as well. Rega moving in, and Fabio he oh, he might get trapped. It's gonna be really close. Yeah, but I think he he should yeah. be able to escape since he has his Q up as well. Yeah, I'm also to back up, but down to three forts. So they're in big, big trouble. I mean, my insanity is just playing this out so well, using their terror. And, like, they, they really know how to use the terror to put on pressure and use it well in team fights. 
Yeah, a little bit of a time waste actually, I think, to go for the seeds with the Garden Terror already ready, but now they have a second Garden Terror immediately spawning after the first Terror will have died. Oh, nice engage on top. Kerrigan falls so quickly. She just melts away in that engagement. Yeah. Completely out of position there, Starzark. Yep, I there's the next stay. Garden Terror. They're gonna take down this bottom gate. Um, yeah, oh, wow, the wall's gonna fall really quickly here, and split pushing here on top as well. Mousebots really doesn't know how to uh, defend both of these at the same time. Yeah, and the problem is they are two levels down as well, and when my insanity is gonna hit uh, level 20, there will be no chance that they win any kind of team fight. It looks like uh, the Garden Terror is gonna go back now, only five seconds left on him. I think they're just gonna wait for the second Terror to spawn and then push yeah. once more. Yeah, they kept, I mean, they put on some decent pressure, uh, got the walls down, got the towers down, so no more uh, no more minion damage on them. And uh, that just helps on the next fight, and they're, they're really playing it safe. I mean, they're not uh, they're not risking anything here. Oh, and uh, most bots, uh, being a little bit lucky, they're going for the hard camp instead of the easy camp. But, yeah, they would have just uh, all died from this ambush here, from my insanity. But at yeah, least they got a little break. Every once in a while you need that little break, um, maybe gives them the possibility to make a comeback happen. They're only a level down, but um, this is actually crucial because oh. uh, Mindsending is almost up to level 20 and they're going to push down this fort. Uh, nothing that mousebots can do in time to stop this. Yeah, we even have the Odin up as well, so there will be double Odin now. Double Odin! Arthas moves in, tries to get the kill down, Kerrigan melts away, Karayan also moves in, but he dies also quickly. And wow, double Odin, first Odin falls, but I think, uh, yep, they still have they still have the Tigers, he's kept alive. Fabio is taking a lot of damage here, he's been alive for a really long time, but he can't escape. And with that, we have the team wipe, and I think my insanity is just going for the kill right here now. Yeah. Wow, I see now why you don't even need Bloodlust, the double Odin itself, it's so incredibly strong. They do so much damage. And even uh, on level 20, it's so ridiculous. Yeah, Mind Sanity really showing um, that, well, they earned their position uh, being f ranked first here in the Heroes Premier League Europe. Uh, undefeated so far, six wins? Wow. Yeah, and they're a pretty uh, hot for a candidate for the win of the playoffs, actually, in my yeah, opinion. Definitely. Um, last week we had SK versus Mind Sanity. Um, I think two to one. Mind Sanity won uh, won that match two to one, and uh, SK second place. I mean, they're also a really strong team, but apparently uh, can quite hold their ground uh, against these two. But I think uh, we're probably gearing towards uh, SK Mind Sanity final. Um, yeah. Well, we do have one team that wants to contest that um, with uh, playing versus uh, playing with pain in. Position number three, and um, they are also on a three-two right now. So three wins, two losses. SK on five-one and six-zero for my insanity now. Um, Mouse boards just dropped down to um, fifth position. Um, well, uh, Team Empire. Is, well, they actually, they I think they're staying in the same spot. Yeah. And it all depends on how I to Heart and Vega Squadron play it out. And we're probably gonna well replay cast that once it's available. Yeah. And well, maybe it, it's gonna be casted uh, next week. We'll see. Um, depending on how the players are gonna uh, are gonna decide to uh, replay the match. All right. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. This was the uh, Heroes Premier League Week Six. We'll be back.